مائی منی مائی منی مائی منی رزق کی تلاش میں ہم تو بہت زیادہ محنت کرتے ہیں لیکن رضا کی تلاش میں نمازیں کھوتے ہیں You, everything should revolve around namaz. It shouldn't be vice versa. So what do we do? We give preference to our work. We give preference to earning money. We give preference to amassing wealth. We give preference to entertainment. And then namaz comes afterwards. And Imam Ibn Atala, second that Rahmatullah said, if you want to know where you stand with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then know where Allah stands with you. Where in the list of priorities does Allah come? First comes money, work, Family, shopping, entertainment, football, games, and at the end, right at the end, and that is on the condition of we having time, comes namaz and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's recall the verse of the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explicitly mentions Alhaakum muttakathur hatta zurtum al maqabir. Alhaakum means at destroyed, you've been destroyed. What has destroyed you? Attakathur, amassing wealth. Hoarding wealth. Dunya kamate hai. Har roz. Kamana chahiye. Achhi baat hai. Lekin ye bhi yaad rakhna chahiye. Ki asbab se bada kar ke musabib ul asbab Allah harabul izzat par nazar rakhni chahiye. Now I'm looking at you. I'm addressing people, mashallah, who are frequent visitors to the masjid. Uh, but please do pass this message on. Okay, this is a message for everyone, including myself. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Al-Hakmu Takathur, amassing wealth has destroyed you. And in another verse of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wailun li kulli humazatil lumazah, Alladhi jama'a maalan wa'addadahu, Yahsabu anna maalahu akhladah. Wail, the valley of hell, is for those people who walk, slandering people, accusing them, backbiting them, those who hoard wealth and start counting them every single day. As we heard in the, uh, in the hadith of the Prophet yesterday, عَاكِفُونَ عَلَى الدُّنْيَا يَرُوحُونَ وَيَغْضُونَ يَغْضُونَ وَيَرُوحُونَ i.e. their mornings and their evenings, they are constantly thinking about the dunya. عَاكِفُونَ عَلَى الدُّنْيَا instead of عَاكِفُونَ فِي masajid, they are isolated in the dunya. That is how much they can think about. There's the box that they're in. Dunya, dunya, dunya. My mal, my mal, my mal. My wealth, my wealth, my wealth. My money, my money, my money. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a rhetorical question. Does he think that this wealth of his will give him eternal life in this dunya? No. Mot, mot will come before it. Death will overtake him. This is why Al-Hakm Takathuru Hatta Zurutum al Maqabir. It will destroy you until you reach the real destination, which is your cover, which is your grave. And if you didn't spend that wealth of Allah subhanahu wa which Allah had given you through His grace, not through our efforts. Because remember one thing here, it is Allah al Razaq. Inna Allah huwa al Razaq. Indeed, it is He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who gives, provides you with sustenance. It's not your own efforts. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but people completely forget that. People say, it's my job, I've worked for it, I've qualified to become whatever I wanted to become, I've, uh, you know, put my blood and sweat into this, it's my money. And then they keep it, they, they amass it, they have shuh within them. Kavitasness, greed. Or I'm rizki talash man. You know, earning a halal, uh, earning a living, earning a sustenance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, gaining that sustenance, how much effort do we put in? Waking up early in the morning, coming late at night, in the evening. Where is the time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Should we do, should we do as much as we do for the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or should we have at the same time more reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yeah. You should have this Iman embedded in the depths of your heart. That whatever Allah has written to be your sustenance, your provision, your living. Yes, if the entire people from the heavens and the earth were to join together, were to uh, unify themselves, have a unity in order to stop even an atom of that which has been decreed for you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will never be able to do so. That risk will come to you. 
You will never die until you eat that risk which Allah has already written in your uh, in, in Allah al-Mahdur, in your taqdeer, in your destiny. And then on the other hand, Jaisi Usne ye likh diya hai ke hamari kisme mein na likhi rozi mein se koi shaks ek zarra bhi ham tak nahi pohcha sakta. Agar Allah Ta'ala ne risk tumhari nahi likhi hai, to risk tumhari paas nahi pohcha hai. This is the iman that you should have. If Allah hasn't written it for you, it won't come to you. Even if the, the entire residents of the heavens and the earth, every single person was to come together to give you that sustenance and it's not written for you, it will not reach you. It will be destroyed before it reaches you. Or you will be destroyed before it reaches you. 